Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we have Trisha here with us who's been recently placed at John Deere as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us today. So John Deere is basically an American multinational corporation that produces agricultural machinery, heavy equipment, forestry machinery, diesel engines and many more and this was a core placement for her. So let's talk to her and before we do that let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all CSC and circuit branches were eligible if provided the students had a CGP of 6 or 60% in 10th and 12th and 7 or 70% in the pursuing degree with no standing careers. Now let's go ahead and talk to Trisha. Hi Trisha, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. Hi Trishnu, uh, thank you so much. It's, uh, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, that's great. Um, yeah. So uh, can you introduce yourself to us first? Uh, sure. Uh, so, my name is Krisha. Uh, I am a fourth year ECA student okay. uh, at VIT uh, Chennai. So, I recently uh, got a super team full time offer at uh, John Deere. Okay. Uh, so, coming to John Deere, it is, um, uh, it is an American corporation that is based in Illinois, United States. Okay. Uh, so, it is uh, the leading manufacturer of uh, agricultural and uh, uh, construction machinery and also diesel engines and other equipment as such. Okay. So uh, I'm really happy to be placed in John Deere and sharing my experience. It's really great to be here. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Uh, sure. So uh, first, it started with uh, us applying in the placement portal. Then we got the first round of shortlisting, which was. Uh, Either a resume or a CGPA based shortlisting. Uh, so about 800 members were shortlisted for the online test, which was okay. the next round process. Okay. Uh, so the online test was held on Hyperpro. It was a 70 minutes exam, and it consisted of a total of three sections and 55 questions. Okay. So the three sections were uh, uh, logical reasoning, English reasoning, and the last was electronics, since this was a core company. Okay. Uh, so. Um, Coming to the electronics questions, the concepts we would basically like to focus on are um, embedded system design, PLSI, uh, digital logic design, digital signal processing, analog electronic circuits and other core concepts of electronics. Right. Uh, so that was the online test uh, and after the online test, after a few days I got a link that uh, my interview had been scheduled on the 5th of September. Hmm. Uh, and uh, it came to my notice that about 400 members were shortlisted for the interview process uh, on 5th and 6th. So it was held on two days uh, overall. Uh, so the interview uh, was for about 30 minutes. Okay. And uh, it started with the interviewer introducing himself mm. and telling about his role at John Deere and his experience at John Deere. Okay. Then it continued with him uh, telling me to introduce myself uh, initially. And then, um, so, he was really caught by a research project that I mentioned during my introduction. So, he asked me to elaborate on that and okay. talk about uh, the various uh, functions and uh, uh, other components that I had used in my project and how it was implemented in the first place and mm. the language and other sorts of technical questions he had asked me. Uh, so, again, coming into the project, after the technical side, he came on to ask me uh, how many members there were in the team uh, when I was doing this project. So. After I mentioned uh, that, um, he asked me what I know about John Deere. So, like, why I would like to get into John Deere and, like, why John Deere fascinates me. Like, why I applied for it in the first place. Right. So, after what was done, uh, he got a bit into the core side and he asked me uh, about the 8051. So, he started off by asking me whether it was a microprocessor or a microcontroller. Okay. And then he went on to ask me whether, uh, he asked me the differences between the microprocessor and the microcontroller. Hmm. So, like, what uh, each of them comprise of. Hmm. Uh, so, continuing with that, um, he came on to ask me about the coding languages, like the training coding languages these days. We have C++, Java, and Python. So, he started asking which of them was my favorite language and my, my go-to language. So, as I mentioned Java, he asked me what the key features of Java were and why I actually prefer Java over the rest and why I find it comfortable working with. Right. So talking about that, uh, so he asked me the differences between C++ and Java after that. So he wanted me to tell him about the uh, procedural language and other stuff like that. Uh, then he continued to ask me whether Python, uh, the language Python is an interpreter or not. 
So uh, that was what he asked me about the coding languages. Then uh, followed by that, he asked me about the OOPs concepts, uh, the four pillars of OOPs, and um, he basically uh, uh, go more in depth in polymorphism. Okay. So uh, he asked me about the types of polymorphisms and uh, when and when and where each of them occurs, like at which time, like the compile time and the run time and when they occur and all that. Right, right. So after that was done, uh, he went again into the core side once again and he asked me about embedded systems. So hmm. he asked me first of all what the definition of an embedded system is. So after giving him the definition, he gave me a few examples of devices. So he gave me three devices. They were the mobile phone, uh, the laptop, and the PC. So he asked me which of these is an embedded system and which is not, and okay. why so. Hmm. Uh, after this, he continued to ask me about my family background and uh, where I did my schooling and where my education I completed and other place, other things about that. Uh, so after that was done, he went on to. Um, asked me if I would be happy to get an offer at John Deere. So I expressed to him how enthusiastic I was about really grabbing this offer at John Deere since I thought it was a brilliant opportunity for me. Uh, so uh, then it ended with him asking if he had, if I had any suggestions, uh, any, hmm. any questions from my end. Right. So after this was done, uh, he just told me that they'll get back to us soon. Uh, so as I mentioned, the interview was held on two days and mine was on the fifth, the first day. So after the interviews on 5th and 6th, uh, we got the results on the 7th of September. Okay. And about uh, 50 members were selected uh, after the process. Mm. And I was like really glad to see my name on the list. So yeah, that, that was my experience. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much and congratulations again. Um, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into core companies? Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, I would like to say, uh, talking about any company in general, I'll not go for core now. Right. I would say that um, one should really study the job profile and about the company and the organization and really know what they're getting into. Like they should really have the background of the company and right. everything up to date. Hmm. And also I would like to say that um, now if we talk about the IT services companies, obviously every company is looking for the basics. Like the basics is what uh, they want at the initial stage. So. Obviously, you should be good at your OOPs concepts, your data structures, your algorithms, and all sorts of uh, concepts such as these when it comes to IT services companies. Right. And when you go on to the core side, uh, I would really uh, suggest that uh, you should be strong in concepts such as I mentioned before, VLSI, system design, digital logic design, analog electronics, mm. digital electronics, digital logic design, and uh, embedded systems, and all such concepts. So, like. Uh, very basic questions will be asked on these and you should be really able to answer these questions as an right. electronic student. Hmm. So, and uh, also I would like to say that um, uh, you should uh, be really open to suggestions and just uh, whenever and wherever you should just try to improve yourself and just do better than you were yesterday. So that's going to get you places. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much again for sharing your experience and for the suggestions. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. It was a wonderful experience. So thank you guys for watching. Please do like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. That would really be helpful for me and motivate me to get more people and get their experiences for you. Thank you.